24-year-old Kristen Guerrero and her husband Fabian were going to be new parents soon, and the Texas couple was thrilled. They had found out from the ultrasound that they were having a boy, and they couldn't wait to welcome their new son into the world. Sadly, the happy family they envisioned never came to be. One day, when Kristen and Fabian were driving home, tragedy struck. Christian and Fabian Guerrero of Texas were happily married 24-year-olds, looking forward to starting a family together. The couple had recently learned they were going to be having a son, and they couldn't have been more thrilled. Then tragedy struck. On their way home from a lunch in San Antonio, Christian and Fabian's car was hit by a drunk driver. Fabian was killed instantly, while Christian and her unborn son were critically injured. The fetus later died at the hospital and the doctors had to induce labor so that Kristen could deliver his body. After holding her deceased son for the first time, Kristen was overcome with emotion and took to Facebook to describe what she was going through. Here's what she had to say. This is me finally being able to hold my son. This is what being in an induced labor for almost 24 hours after surviving a car crash that killed my husband and my son looks like. All because someone thought it was okay to get wasted and drive. It's not okay. It is okay to stop a friend from driving. It is okay to take someone's keys away from them when they're showing signs of being drunk. And it is okay to pick up the phone and call for a ride if you find yourself feeling a little too tipsy. It's not a sign of weakness. It's a sign of maturity to be honest with yourself and know the consequences of driving drunk outweigh any kind of shame you might feel admitting you're too drunk to drive. What's not okay is spending the rest of your life with the guilt of knowing you've taken someone's life and taking someone's life away before they even got a chance to be in this world. It's not worth it. Don't drink and drive. Don't risk your freedom. You're putting not only your life in danger, but also everyone else on the road. I could have died August 2nd, but God had other plans. I'm being left behind to fight this fight for my husband and my son, and I will continue to spread awareness and share his story until the day I die, in hopes it prevents anyone else from feeling the pain I walk around with every day. I refuse to let my husband and my son's death be in vain. What an unspeakable tragedy. It will take a long time for Kristen to recover from this, but hopefully her loss will serve as a reminder to others not to make a stupid, selfish decision to drink and drive.